Hello and welcome to TRL Rips Cards. And uh, today, a little different product. I've never opened any of this stuff before. It is uh, Topps Heritage Minor League Baseball. I know my buddy Landon said he uh, used to open a lot of this, so um, I think it should be kind of interesting. I see on the cover here we got uh, Vlad, we got Royce Lewis here with the uh, Colonels, obviously. One of those would be pretty cool. So we got one on-card auto and one memorabilia card in each box. So uh, hopefully those are some uh, some names we recognize. But I think it'll be kind of fun to just look at the different um, uh, you know minor league team names that uh, that nobody's ever uh, many of us have never heard of. I guess so. Um, you know, I kind of know the Twins minor league affiliates, and then that's really it. I don't really know too many others. Um, so, um, anyway, this will be kind of interesting. So, all right, open her up there, get a look. We've got uh, three exclusive base card gloss front parallels inside. So, we will uh, look at look at that at the end. But uh, go ahead and get this opened up. So, let's see what we got here. Minor league here. Oh, make your pre pro debut with the Richmond Flying Squirrels. So, <laughs> apparently you can, uh, I don't know, maybe try out uh, for, uh, for the Richmond Squirrels. I'm not sure. A little tryout experience myself. Tried out for the Twins twice when they were at uh, <laughs> the Metrodome <laughs> with some friends. Some of the few people that listen to this are going to remember that and laugh fondly. So... All right, we got Matt Manning with the pitcher with the white caps. Boy, I just it just occurred to me this is going to be kind of tricky to go through because I, nobody I'm not going to recognize very many names at all. Uh, let's see, Jesson Rosario, tin caps, and what do the back of these look like? Uh, we'll do it on this next one here. Steven Gonzalez, um, he was a Twins at Red Wings prospect for a while. I think he was either like a third or fourth round pick and. Um, had a lot of success in the minors, but um, they either he became a Rule 5 or a, a minor league free agent or they just maybe just designated him for assignment. I don't remember. But, uh, yeah, mostly most of the success was at uh, below AAA. He got to AAA in the old ERA, went to 5.56. Five, and uh, looks like before that it was, I mean, his career minor league total, 2.39, so pretty good. But then that... Uh, well, that was only five games, I guess, in Rochester. So, but uh, he's with somebody I can't remember who now. Um, I think Cole Stewart's with Baltimore. I can't remember, but he got claimed by somebody. So, um, yeah. There's a. So I guess he counts as a twin, as far as uh, my personal collection goes. Luisa Medina. Uh, oh, there's our. Uh, whoa, that is actually a, <laughs> a really good. Um, on card autograph um that's probably one of the better ones we could have uh pretty much hoped for um I'll go ahead and uh get that in a sleeve immediately here and uh that is hunter green he was the uh number two overall pick um wow first pack uh nice uh yeah Throws really, really well, was projected to possibly be the number one pick, um, and uh, he went number two to uh, the uh, Reds. So um, yeah, top certified autograph issue. So Hunter Green, wow, that's uh, that's about as good as if it wasn't gonna be a Royce Lewis, that's about, about as good as we could have possibly. Uh, I don't know who else is in here, but at any rate, he's a really recognizable guy. So. Nice. Well, that is a heck of a nice card there. So, definitely. First pack, it's all probably downhill from here. My goodness. <laughs> I would have, usually they're hidden a little bit. So, wow. All right. Exciting. Uh, Charcer Burks, outfielder. So, this is 2018. So, um, you know, it's possible we're going to know a few more of these names. Here's a Tatis Minor League All-Star. And... Um, 
kind of a oh this must be part of like a puzzle I'm gonna guess because uh, that's got the bat and there's like part of his I think that's Royce Lewis actually <laughs> so I'm pretty sure that is because that's the that's the kernels and uh, it looks like uh, if you kind of you'd have to kind of look a little hard but um, the picture on the uh, right right there it looks like Royce Lewis so that's interesting um, card there so um, shortstop for the missions I guess it said so okay well uh, Lazaro Armentos uh, this would have been the Beloit snappers that used to be the twins high a uh, affiliate but uh, well that was pack one so pretty good uh, successful successful pack there I have to say uh, got a uh, twins minor leaguer and uh, you know one of the definitely better on card autos that's definitely one to hang on to um, like I say throws number two overall and throws uh, you know over over 100 pretty consistently so time will tell with pitchers always but uh, so far so good so Riley Pint with the tourist so I wish it would say where these were this guy hit 102 as an amateur fourth overall pick 2016 draft so um, Mickey Mania uh, he was actually number one overall pick with the Phillies out of high school in uh, let's see 2016 so uh, hasn't performed particularly great um, GCL Phillies hit 284 with one home run in uh, 2017 123 games uh, 336 now of course that's that's uh, South Atlantic so um, low A but uh, he would have been still pretty young I think for that um, for that level but uh, nonetheless he's uh, been a little bit of a I wouldn't say nobody's super thrilled about him Jaron Kendall uh, quick what is this another another auto die cut or something Colton Welker oh no that must be a I'm gonna put it in a thing anyway I think that's that's not a it's blue though it's blue ink that's what kind of threw me off but must just be because it's on the black and white photo stock but uh, it's a, is that a sticker maybe um, Colton Welker two of 30 photos so something different um, must just be a facsimile I don't think that's a real auto here's another one of these uh, so let's see what else we got here um, yeah another that's 187 the other one was 190 so anything I guess these tops news um, must be the uh, puzzle piece Jazz Chisholm Kane County Cougars they're always seeming to be pretty good in the uh, with the kernels um, Chisholm, I remember, he was just traded, I think, from the Diamondbacks to um, oh, Tampa Bay, maybe. It was, uh, he was kind of a, one of the, uh, one of the primary guys. He's very highly, highly touted prospect, so. And then we got a MLB batting leaders, Keston Hira. So we definitely, that's a name, certainly we know, with the Wisconsin Timber Rattlers, so. Couldn't tell you what, uh, where they're uh, out of, but uh, nonetheless, Keston's a, a name we know. Uh, Franklin Perez, Flying Tigers, started with Riley Pite. So this is kind of cool. I think um, this is definitely a product that you know, you're in for the long game a little bit. Some of these guys are pretty young, that Mickey Montiac, you know, might be two or three more years before and if he ever makes it up. Quentin Holmes, outfielder. Let's see. Uh, Indians. Erasmus Edamon. Tyler J. That would be the, uh, what well, used to be the Twins uh, in 2018. It would have been the Twins double-A team. This was definitely a whiff of a pick. He was like number five or six overall. And... Um, left-handed pitcher he was a reliever at illinois i remember and um they just for some reason they tried to make him a starter and then that didn't work when they tried to make him a reliever again and uh 
then he was hurt and everything else so he just never really has done much and then they um designated him for assignment i think and i don't remember who claimed him but he's uh ooh, wander javier so um that would have been gcl twins i suppose um that he was a big uh no elizabethan um big bonus the twins gave him i wonder if it'll stay on here no it doesn't um but he was in low a last year spent the whole year in um cedar rapids and didn't didn't do much so um still he uh, was actually exposed in the rule five draft but nobody took him because he spent so much time uh he just didn't do much so it would have been hard to justify keeping him on a major league roster when he was unsuccessful at the low a still got the tools i guess as they say so never know nate pearson canadians is this uh Oh, Vancouver, maybe. I'm not sure. Um, so, Valley Cats. Miguel Angel Sierra. Valley Cats. Tri-City Valley Cats. That's with the Astros organization. So, we started with Quentin Holmes. Cavan Biggio. Fisher Cats. Nice. I guess, so... I like the Hunter Green, but uh, I guess Kevin Biggio would have been a better auto. <laughs> After all, I didn't uh, expect to find him in here, but uh, I suppose we are a year removed. So, um, good card there, Kevin Biggio. Definitely another recognizable name, not only because his dad, but uh, Mike Schwarren, Sea Dogs. Here we got another Ledio Tavares outfielder with the Wood Ducks. And more importantly, we got another piece that's 183. I wonder how many pieces of this puzzle there are. So maybe when we get all finished, we'll uh, have to put those together and see if we can uh, come up with uh, <laughs> uh, some idea of what the... If, I think it's Royce Lewis, but David Fletcher, Bees, that uh, Salt Lake City. Yeah, that was Once Upon a Time. That was the Twins uh, affiliate, AAA affiliate. And... Um, I think it's the uh, Angels now, maybe. Michael Kopech, so he's up with the uh, White Sox. Uh, Albert Abreu, Tarpons. And Kyle Young, Crosscutters. And I think Corbin Burns, Sky Sock. Corbin Burns is up in the in the majors now. So um, is that, uh, yeah, Brewers. So actually had a pretty good year. So, all right. Couple of names that I recognize there. I do like to follow the follow along on Twins Daily. They kind of do daily updates when the seasons are going about uh, minor league players. So this would have been MLB, MILB, minor minor league baseball saves leaders. Drew Ellis Rawhide. <laughs> There's a Beloit Snappers guy. Oh my god, I made my I have a chance to make my pro debut with the Richmond Flying Squirrels. So first you have to become a member of the uh oh, oh I think I probably missed my chance though with uh with this one. But uh I guess I'll scratch it off and see <laughs> what happens eventually. Adelis Garcia, Redbirds, Dylan Cease, there's another guy with the White Sox who has uh, made his pro debut or is going to this year anyway if he yeah I think he did last year so another good good young player so uh, Jorge Una Storm Hunter there's Hunter Green Dragons that's the regular old base hunter and then we got of course our uh, our autograph hunter so that was with the Mustangs that must have I don't know one of these was a uh, and this is dragons. I guess I don't know what the distinguished or what the difference is here. Maybe it'll maybe it'll say on here. Um, Billings Pioneer League. It must be. I don't know. But all right. So then we started with that card. So first little stack down. This is kind of more fun than I thought. I think there's definitely some uh, 
Yes, I know. Maybe a few more guys. I listen to a lot of podcasts about uh, Genesis Cabrera. There's another uh, highly touted guy. Um, I don't know if he's made his debut yet or not, but uh, I recognize that name. Here we got something coming up. Uh, MJ Melendez, Catcher Legends, Chance Adams, Rail Riders, Kyle Funkhauser, Sea Wolves, and um, what is this? A yellow. It's a Beau Bichette, uh, New Hampshire Fisher Cats, and I don't know enough about, that's a, kind of a, it's kind of weird, look at the back here, it's just 69 CCBB, I don't know what that means, so, um, it's yellow, <laughs> I mean, everything else looks the same, but, um, like, some kind of, uh, I don't know, it's, I'm going to, Put that in a top loader just to, just in case that's something cool. Maybe this is just like a silly insert that it means nothing. It very well could. So, but anyway, it looks different anyway. So, okay. DJ Peters, Drillers. I think that's Oklahoma City. I think maybe I can't remember. But hey, look at this, Fernando Tatis Jr. with the missions so that's probably looks like he's got the texas flag on there is that maybe san antonio perhaps yeah i'm gonna guess it is san antonio so all right that would be a pre-rookie card i guess for tatis jr and uh <laughs> um you see him now and he's it, that he looks quite different <laughs> i mean he's pretty clean cut uh, it definitely so cool okay so we got our uh, Tatis Bo Bichette our, uh, some Hunter Green Danny Jansen he's a big leaguer with the uh, Blue Jays kind of I don't know if it's going to be either he or um, uh, Reese McGuire kind of be battling it out to see who starts they probably will split a lot of those so oh, got another sticker part here at the bottom Trevor Steppen Tarpins Bryce Wilson fire frogs <laughs> that's one of my favorite Griffin candy I think that was the first one I opened Cabrian Hayes he's with the Pirates organization the curve Landon remembers playing there I actually visited him there and saw quite a few games in that ballpark in uh, Altoona Pennsylvania it's a beautiful ballpark kind of a uh, a little amusement park out in the center field kind of left center and just a really cool cool thing and then the curve is because of the famous uh, train uh, curve uh, they make there uh, and uh, anyway Cabrian Hayes a really good prospect kind of probably could would have probably made his debut this year um, but uh, we'll get that chance there's a Brent Rooker for the lookouts so we've got some Rooker um, so this is double A I uh, have some Rooker uh, Contenders cards. Yu Chang, I think he's with um, the uh, Indians, I believe. Maybe not, but what does it say on there? So, I think that's right. I don't think it says. So, oh yeah, AZL Indians. So, uh, Kristen Stewart, Mud Hen. So, Kristen Stewart's with the um, Tigers. And uh, good, good young prospect, good player so far. So um, I think he's our center fielder. Eloy Jimenez, and uh, this is another one of the. Uh, that is one eighty six. So um, we'll uh, be kind of fun to try and put those together. Started with step in at the end here. There's another, hey, there's Royce Lewis himself, so, and that's just kind of a piece of his, this must be big, I think that's like a leg, maybe, um, so, nice Royce Lewis there, uh, Jeter Downs got traded with, for Mookie Betts, was kind of one of the major, major pieces eventually on the second iteration of that trade, so he's with the uh, uh, Red Sox now, Randy Arzola, move or something like that. Uh, Andres Jimenez, Jimenez maybe, the Mets, and I got another 
chance to make my pro debut. Here we go. Bruised all. Gratterall with the uh, Colonels there. The Flamethrower. Got to... Uh, was in on that. So funny that this pack happened uh, where I got Jeter Downs. Initially, um, Downs was not part of the trade, and uh, Bruzdahl was supposed to go to Boston, and then uh, after Boston backed out because of his uh, uh, possible arm issues, uh, they had to rework it, and then Downs became a part of that trade and went to Boston. So Zach Birdie, another uh, twin uh, connection. This is must be with the Pirates, I think. Um, Charlotte International, I don't remember, but um, very hard thrower. Oh, Chicago, okay. So, Oh, no, no, this is Zach Birdie. His brother, Nick Birdie, was with the Twins. That's a different guy. So, Brandon Marsh, he's uh, up in the uh, majors, I believe. I must be getting him confused with somebody else, though. No, it must not be him. So, all right, let's start with you down. So, uh, yeah, that's different. I didn't realize, uh, I guess I did, now that I say that, I did remember that. Prato. Um, that's the only thing in Arizona. So, 14th overall pick in the 2007 draft. So, yeah, very highly. Kind of, uh, you know, he must be a good hitter when he's a first baseman. Typically, unless you really can rake. Look at this, Jordan Alvarez. Nice. Um, if you're just like a power only guy, you know, first round is kind of tough. They usually like to take guys with higher ceilings. So, um, Jordan Alvarez with the hooks. So um, that might have been still the Dodgers organization. He was originally signed by the Dodgers. So uh, Astros, nope. So he was already traded at that point. So um, yeah. Cool. That's a nice card there. So um, Mike Bauman, Shorebirds, Mitchell White, pitcher. Nick Solak, he's uh, listed as second baseman and outfielder, and he made his debut with the Cubs. Shed Long, second base with the Mariners. He's up as well. Uh, Spencer Howard, crosscutters. Hey, look at this, another Bo uh, base with the Fisher Cats. Same one here, so New Hampshire Fisher Cats. I suppose that's uh, not a hard way, not, not too tough for the... Uh, uh, from New Hampshire to... Uh, Toronto, if they need somebody to uh, get called up for a game. That's probably double A, I think, though. But, uh, yeah, so a couple of boba shots. I'm curious what this yellow one is. I'll have to kind of look that up and see. Yeah, we started with Prado. Nick Gordon, brother of D, father of... Flash Gordon, of course, uh, everybody remembers him. The uh, closer all those years for different teams. I guess originally maybe a starter, but uh, played for a long time. Nick just couldn't stay healthy ever. When he did start to hit, he would get hurt, and he's still going to probably be in AAA this year and still got another at least another year of options. But um, he was drafted quite high, fifth maybe overall. Um, I don't think it says, but I, I think it was fifth overall. So um, just hasn't quite been able to put it together. Yeah, they've moved in between Alex Fado, Flying Tigers, with the Tigers organization. Uh, moved in between second base and shortstop, too. Yeah, here's another one of those. So that's definitely not an auto. So mission, uh, Josh Naylor. Um, so that's the Padres. Yeah, he did come up last year um, with... Uh, the Padres and did a little bit of uh, I think he ended up getting sent down relatively soon but um, his brother um, I can't remember his first name but he got he was a first round pick by the uh, Indians and they're out of uh, they're Canadian so I have a Canadian school up there Evan Steele uh, Mitch Keller Pirates and he's got a rookie card this year so he's Either uh, has already made or will make his debut when the season starts. So, David Peterson, Fireflies. But, uh, yeah, Josh Naylor, good good young prospect. I think his uh, brother's a catcher. Um, looks like this guy throws left-handed, so he must not be. He must be not. Well, that's a first baseman's glove, so 
first base one's Nick Senzel again has uh, made the debut uh, Enel De Los Santos Iron Pigs hey look at this Vladimir Guerrero Jr. third base with the Fisher Cats and that uh, that must have been some minor league team because uh, I think Vladimir I think every level he was at he just hit the heck out of the ball so um, he I'm sure did really well there and then um, was probably equally B Bichette was probably equally stud so we got uh, minor league batting leaders yeah, I've had that one already but this is yeah that other one was right here was uh, white this was maybe it's just like a parallel blue parallel so um, suppose I better put a uh, sleeve on that at least so in case that's anything cool Dwayne Dunning Barons Max Schrock Redbirds Isaac Paradis Paradise maybe Flying Tigers Pete Alonzo first base Rumble Ponies there's definitely more uh, more names in this than I thought I also have a box um, and this is hobby only I think too um, Rumble Ponies my uh, cousin uh, his cousin's son played for the Rumble Ponies I don't know but they must I don't know if they would have played there at the same time or not but uh, yeah Corey Taylor his name prospect in the Met system um, so nice Pete Alonzo there so got definitely some cool uh, cool cards Sinzel and uh, yeah, like we started with Sinzel so Tops Heritage Minor League this is pretty cool definitely uh, I've got a 2019 box too and I'm, that's probably not going to be nearly as, <laughs> as many guys as we reckon on Recognize um, Derwins and Hernandez. He's with the Red Sox. Yep. Uh, Cal Quantrill, Missions. He's also up. Gavin Lux, shortstop. Wow, so pretty much all the names that uh, everybody is uh, talking about um, either have uh, made their debut and been successful or are really highly touted. Um, are, I've got them so far here. I've found them. So there's another one of these yellow ones, Eloy Jimenez. So. Um, Another, I don't know if these are just parallels with their sticker or something. I'll have to kind of dig into this. To be honest, I didn't even look at a checklist or anything. I just thought it was kind of neat. So, yeah, it's a little different. That, uh, oh, there we got a, a kill Badu um, with the uh, Colonels. He was um, got it made it up to the high A with uh, Fort Myers. And I, what did they change their name to this year? The Mighty Muscles. I think they used to be the Miracle. Uh, but then uh, had to have ACL surgery. He's an outfielder, but uh, had to have ACL surgery last year. So missed the whole season. But uh, Tanner Houck, pitcher Blaine Enlow, there's another twin. Um, he was one of the ones they, um, when they took Royce Lewis number one, they got a little bit of a, um, he cut a little bit of a below slot deal. And the twins took Enlow in the third round and then uh, able to give him a pretty good bonus way over the slot in the third round. So. He, uh, going into that draft, was uh, had the um, highest uh, spin rate of any, they said, best curveball in the whole draft, regardless of high school. He was out of high school, but uh, there was a Will Smith catchers there for the drillers. So, rookie card here, too. So, well, coming down to the last stack here, I've been kind of, this has kind of been a cool, uh, cool box to open. Taylor Ward. Nicky Lopez, Naturals. That's a cool name. Um, Ryan Barecki, Bison. Another one of these. Brendan Rogers. Um, I guess you'd say die cut. I don't know if that's even the right word. It's definitely something different. Um, these are kind of different black and white pictures. Hartford Yard Goats. So <laughs> it's a good good minor league team name yard goats for sure that's very perfect um johan mises cardinals so that must be uh hey there we go we got our, our royce lewis I was, I was lucky enough to uh pull a royce lewis auto out of uh 
and uh, contenders. Uh, so that was kind of kind of made my day, and so does this one. I'm a big Twins fan, and so um, anything uh, number one overall pick, uh, very top five, top ten prospect in all of Major League Baseball. Struggled last year, um, no doubt, but uh, still kind of had a really good was the uh, MVP of the uh, Arizona Fall League, so put it together a little bit. There's Brendan Rogers, Yard Goat, another guy obviously making his made his debut last year, and uh, he'll be still rookie status with the uh, Rockies this year. And we started with that guy, so haven't had one of those All Star puzzle piece cards in a minute here. So uh, Greg Dykeman Ports. Oscar De La Cruz, Colton Wilker, Jet Hawks. Again, he just can't make up some of these names. Oh, there we go, Brendan Rodgers. Puzzle piece thing. Uh, Dalton Varsho, one of the better um, catching prospects with the Diamondbacks system. and Still pretty young, I think, but uh, definitely one of the, I think he was in double A last year. and Could possibly make his debut this year. Bo Burrows, Sea Wolves. Lolo Sanchez power so that has got to be some kind of uh, photoshopped picture because well there's really no uniform and this doesn't that look weird that picture I don't know. so I don't give him much credit for the photoshopping there Sean Murphy uh, up with the A's rookie this year and we started with Dykeman so I guess we're still waiting for our uh, relic. It's supposedly you get a uh, an autograph and a relic. So would that be funny if it was in the very last pack? So the first pack had the autograph, and then the relic is in the last. Doesn't look like it's in this one. Uh, Stuart Fairchild, Dragons. Innings pitch leaders, Shane Bieber, of course, now with the uh, Indians and very successful, uh, great, great season. Yoni Chirnos uh, with the uh, Rays. And then I don't know about Ricky Knapp with uh, Las Vegas. Would that have been at the time? I think the Mets. Uh, but maybe I'm wrong on that too. Tim McGenzie Gore, there's a very highly touted uh, pitcher. I think he's a top 10 prospect. and one of the I think maybe the top left-handed uh, prospect. So kind of checks all the boxes. Big, strong, throws hard, all that stuff. Dylan Tate, uh, another good highly uh, pitcher that was a uh, you know, top 40 prospect so throws pretty hard um, yep. don't remember when he was picked but it was I think pretty high Taylor Trammell good good young another highly touted guy I'm gonna say probably top 50 prospect if I had to remember I'm forgetting but Sheldon noise noose sounds Brendan little Cubs uh, Yesel and Tuna shortstop. Yeah, okay. So, yep, this is our relic, I think. Yep. <laughs> so, I'll maybe I'll leave that for the end. We got Kyle Tucker there. Um, with the uh, about done everything he can do in minor league baseball at this point, so he's going to have to. Prove it with uh, the Astros. Monty Harris, Jumbo Shrimp, <laughs> Justin Dunn, Mets, Threshers, Adam, oh, Adam uh, Hazley, hell, I can't even remember how to say that, Halsley. He was a uh, University of Virginia product, so uh, made it up with the Phillies last year. It was eighth overall, I think, pretty highly picked. Mackenzie Mills, pitcher. Here we got another one of these. That's Dalton Varsho. Uh, little inserts. Oh, I'll put that in the sleeve here after them. Another one of these Mitch Keller curve puzzle pieces. Esteban Flores, Dylan Cozens. Oh, that name sounds familiar for some reason. Um, probably heard him mentioned in a top 100 prospects or something like that. So. All right, so basically the last pack here. Joey Wentz, Riley Adams, uh, Erasmus Garcia, Flying Squirrels. Gotta love these minor league names. And there is a 
Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Same as these. I don't know what these yellow... It looks like maybe they're on TV or something. I don't really understand this, but I'll have to dig into the checklist a little bit. And Landon, if you're watching, you can probably you probably know that already. You can probably just tell me. So, um, Freakser Perez, Garrett Hampson, Yard Goats, Sam Carlson. Sam Carlson's a Minnesota kid. Uh, Savage, Minnesota. Yep, I remember. Took him in the second round. Um, kind of. Three pitches above average or better. So, um, sign, did sign right out of high school. So, um, was also a power hitting outfielder, but I think he was definitely looked at to be drafted as a uh, pitcher. I remember when when that happened. Sam Hilliard, outfield. Joey Wentz, Fire Frogs. And I just started with that. So, okay, we are down to our last. Uh, all right, Corey Ray, Kyle Tucker. Faustin, Foster Griffith, and our relic is John Duplantier. So, pitcher, meh, not exactly super thrilled about that. Rawhide collection, clubhouse collection, but um, he had, already has made his uh, Major League debut, so that's kind of cool, I guess. So, um, Vesalia Rawhide from the 2000s. Oh, that's number two... 50 okay well that, that that's a little better <laughs> so that's cool actually you know i haven't been looking so that hunter green just base not numbered um i haven't even looked if there's anything else no these are not i'll have to look through that later i guess so well um so pretty cool oh yeah wait a minute still got the uh exclusive base cards here whatever this is so So we got Logan Allen, Missions. I think he is up. Shane Baz, Pirates. Brian Miller. So what makes these so cool? They got <laughs> they don't look any different. So um, what did I do with that wrapper? <laughs> I guess there's something unique about these. <laughs> They're extra glossy, maybe? That's probably what it is. So. All right, so just to recap, our autograph, Hunter Green. Great card there. Um, got some uh, Relic, John Duplantier, and, uh, you know, no, number to 50. So I got 44 out of 50. So that's pretty good. Uh, Guerrero, these are, so they just look like plain cardboard, obviously. There's, you know, something to them. Um, 69 CC. Um, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. I guess they all have like, you know, 69 CC Eloy Jimenez. So, um, kind of neat. Just the base, uh, base cards here. Bo Bichette, another one of these yellow ones. So, um, those are kind of neat. Uh, let's see, those are just the base that I forgot to do. Um, kind of Tatis, pre rookie. Um, Two of these same things and maybe yep that one i just thought of that that one's one number one out of 99 uh, minor league batting leaders so that blue parallel that must be in its uh that's the parallel i guess so that's kind of cool um got our royce lewis actually i'll do all my twins together later so gavin lux um pete alonzo jordan alvarez so these are all just base cards, but uh, there's Hunter Green, uh, Dylan Cease, uh, Kevin Biggio. That's kind of cool. And let's see, we got our Royce Lewis, and then here's our twins, Blaine Enlow, Akil Badu, Nick Gordon. So no more lookouts. Now it's um, the uh, that was the Double A affiliate, and now the twins are in uh, Florida and. Um, Oh boy, I don't even remember. It's uh, it's escaping me. I'm normally pretty good at this, but uh, yeah, Colonels, Bruzdal, Brent Rooker. Um, no, oh, that's gonna kill me. I have to look that up. Wander Javier, uh, Tyler J, Gonzalez. So those are our twins, and now let's uh, I'll separate the. Let's see, probably up here. 
Oh, right there. So we're putting something together. These are just kind of cuts. Um, no, that would be. How does this go? I'll get another piece. Maybe it'll become clear. There's Royce Lewis himself. So that's a. I think I'm going to need a second pant leg here. So here's some more bat. Yeah, this is like that. And then is this. That's part of the necklace. So well, that goes there. There's the teeth that lines up. Um, that must be like that. Um, well, these two definitely go together, but I'm missing. And let's see, another part of the pants. So I'm missing, looks like, I'm going to think there's a whole other set. These probably go down here. So I'm probably missing uh, one, two, three, four cards still from this one. So um, uh, maybe I'll jump online and see. These are all numbered. <laughs> maybe I can pick those up on check a Com C or maybe on eBay even. So. Okay, so these are kind of cool. Kind of a neat idea, too. And then I guess these little die cuts. Uh, uh, Colton Wecker, uh, Josh Naylor, uh, Brendan Rogers, and uh, Dalton Varsho. So, all right, well, thanks very much for watching. That was definitely a fun one. I, I enjoyed that. So, uh, different product. And like I say, sometime I'll do the um, uh, 2019 Heritage. I might have to pick up another box of this, too. That was kind of fun. So, thank you.